All right, parents, this is about the infamous compatible numbers. A couple of things I want to clarify. Compatible numbers is not necessarily related to Common Core. Um, it is something, though, that we do consider new math. It is very similar to making estimations. In fact, it is making an estimation using rounding. But instead of being given a place value to round to, compatible numbers encourage the kids to round their number to the nearest multiple of whatever it is you're working with or to round numbers to things that actually click together, like I say, like Legos. So let me show you an example. This um, regular problem here, if you were to round it, probably most people would round down to 400. But when you do that, um, seven and 400, you still have to go through all of the work of finding um, a multiple of seven and, and subtracting and all of that mess. So what we want to do when we estimate is really um, find something quickly. So this is what we have the kids do. Um, I want to look at our divisor seven and come up with a math fact, a multiple of seven that is really close to 43. When I find one, I'm going to come down to my list of uh, multiples here of seven. I see that 42 is very close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to intentionally choose the number 42, even though it's smaller than 43 here in this number. And I'm going to round 439 to 4 the 43, I'm gonna round it to 42, and I'm gonna place a zero here so it has the hundreds, okay? And watch what happens when I divide this by seven. I know already that one, two, three, four, five, six times seven is 42, okay? So 60 times seven would be 420. So for a really quick estimate, we like to have the kids use compatible numbers to find fast multiples when we're using division to get their um, division to happen really quickly without having to do a whole bunch of math there. I'm going to show you another example if you'll be patient with me while I erase my board. I hope you enjoy my outdoor wooden table and uh, my lustrous voice. I hope you find it soothing and calming as I create another problem. Okay, here we go. I'm purposely using division because I find that that's pretty hard to, to, um, to do. Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to look for a multiple because we know we can't divide 3 out into 6 and what we would normally do is divide 38 out into 6 groups. But since I want to use um, an estimate, I want to do it fast, I want to skip count by 6's and think about the fastest thing that is close to 38. It can go a little bit over, it can go a little bit under. It's okay as long as it's the closest um, to it. Well, I know that 6 times 6 is 36. And because 6 times 6 equals 36, I can use this real fast. In fact, I'm going to rewrite the entire problem in about 2 seconds. I'm going to trade out 38 for 36. And just like in normal rounding, everything else turns into zeros. Now guess what? Since I already know 6 times 6 is 36, I know that it's going to be 600. And within about mm, 10 seconds, your child can have a quick estimate using compatible numbers.